Hello and welcome to part 13 of this tutorial series. Um, in this video I'm going to make a few small changes to the level, to the map, before moving on to the next part of this um, game chain which would be the forest. Um, a couple of things I want to change before I move on is I have with the village, I have with the pier, I like the goblin camp, um, but I don't like the terrain. I'm going to turn this into more of a snow scene, so I'm setting out into the winter. Also, the second I start walking too close to the goblins, they charge me like crazy people. And I don't want them to do that just yet. I want them to stay where they are first, because I'm going to come back to these guys later. So, the goblins are the easiest things to change. They come in charging at me because it's in the script to do so, it's their intelligence. Whereas this guy didn't come charging at me. The reason being, left click him and then click properties, you'll see his main script is AI underscore neutral dot LUA. Whereas the goblin and the orc on the properties, their script is fantasy AI fantasy creature underscore goblin. So that script is telling them to charge at me like a crazy person and try to, 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 to kill me. So I'm just going to take his script, copy, and I'll give it to these guys. Now at any point in the future, I can go back in and restore this original script to them and let them charge me like crazy people. Um, but for now, I just want them to stare up at them. Apply change. This. And he'll be the fantasy creature underscore arc because he will have a different behavior to the goblins. He might walk slower, he might attack faster, he'll do more damage. Um, different things, all can be controlled in the script, but I just want them to stay still. So if I test that game now, and I'm going to walk down to that village, and they're going to be very calm and very peaceful, he said confidently. And so I can go up to them, I can say, hi little goblin, how are you? Yeah, you good? You okay? Yep, nice little fire you've got going here. Yep, hello goblins. Hello orc. Nice little candle, some money, which we put there last time. Oh, nice. Um, so yeah, but now my second thing I wanted to change is I want this to be a snowy winter scene. Okay, so if I hit tab twice, tab tab, and I come up to my terrain tab, it's currently lush with a weed eight zero one uh, foliage on the floor, which is seen over here. So I bring this into view so I can see it. Tab tab, terrain tab, ice or ice two. Let's say ice. So it's going to generate the new textures. It may take a while. It didn't take long. But this is much more what I had in mind. It's a nice cold winter scene because it is winter. You know, all the reasons to have that fire. But this grass looks completely out of place now. So, tab tab, because of my weed here, drop down, and I see. Let's see what this is. Okay, that's a bit good. Icy base. Oh. These are more. The plants you might expect to see when it's icy, they're kind of small and weedy. Yeah, I like that one. What else do we have actually? Let's have a, let's have a play. Uh, dead grass? No, 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 no. Uh, brown sticky? Yeah, that works too. Uh, I've got a bit of grass and crutch on the path here, so I'm going to fix that in a minute. But this is much more what I had in mind. Uh, at the start of the video, so nice winter scene. Um, because when we come back here to fill in the quest, we can make it spring or summer, you know, because we've been away for a long time. So that's just a little look at changing the script, just look at changing the terrain. And the sky type is okay, it's like a winter's morning, so we'll leave that like that. Now, if I press escape, we'll go back to the editor. and um, select my grass edit mode I can see 
the uh, grass was peeking over the terrain a little bit here so holding and shift I can just unpaint it from the path um, just little tweaks like this just to uh, just to make it a bit neater because this is a well-worn path you know we don't want things growing on it one thing's growing at the side of it but not on it and it's hard to see from the top down because of the trees but you can get the idea let's get rid of that and that's all. Good. I'll add a bit here. I don't know why I took it away so severely. Because it's a, a path, but it's not as worn. So you might have a few bits and be added as well. There we go. Some over there as well. For prosperity. Hmm. Good. Okay, I'll save that um, so I don't lose progress. And we're going to look now at this gate because this is where we go to the next level. So if I come to markers and select my wind zone, now place it here, press uh, what is it? Press the critical point, trail mode, marker mode, M. I can select these points without selecting the entities. A few videos ago um, I neglected to mention that point when I had this marker under the bridge I was giving workarounds when really it's much easier just to select this mod um, it's a lot less mess so as he approaches the gate he'll move to the next screen and we will go now and get the next few metaphors I'll save that one last time And we'll load up the next map. Okay, this is the forest that was created in Series 1 and later modified in the earlier parts of Series 2. It's going to have some more modifications done to it now to fit the purpose of which I want this narrative to go. Because the plan to play to go through this forest, have some adversity, and then enter some sort of cave or castle, not castle, some cave or structure to recover an item to help with the castle. So, I'm going to delete the return marker because I don't want the player to be able to return to the castle yet. I want to introduce some sort of cool special effect here, like a rock slide or something that will prevent the player's access back to the castle. Because when, I, when the player returns to the castle, I want to change it into spring. So, if it goes back now, like a few seconds later, that will be silly. So... We're going to introduce something here to prevent his return and I'll do that in a separate video because I want to show off some basic animation at that point. So I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to put that in next time. Right now I'm just going to make changes to this map to make it fit our purposes. I'm going to start off, press G to go into the um, top down view and delete half of these trees. So delete and I'll get rid of that one too. Gone. Delete. The reason being, this is too big. I'll take my level mod, level brush, level mod, pick something high, and then stored level, and just throw some mountains down here. I'll pick something else high, and throw some more mountains down. If you press G, you won't get that... Um, that weird slide thing. If you're at an angle and you press level mode, your set your cursor will move as the terrain moves, so you get a kind of um, kind of a, a, a sliding cursor without meaning to. But if you top down, that doesn't happen. Okay, so that's a little uh, little tip right there. It's fine if you want a bit of slide. You can use the angle to your benefit then. But if you don't, just keep that one in mind. Okay. I will improve the layout of those mountains later. I'm just roughing out a map here. Uh, so the trees are good. We've got a bit of foliage. So the player will enter from this canyon. Come in. Up. I can look around. You can go down there. You can go down there. Go over here. Little lake. Cave. Possibly where I might put the entrance. I might put some peril in this forest. Maybe a few... Um, 
animals or monsters or creatures. We've still got some remnants of the old map, some chairs, a, a shovel, a little hidden skull. Yeah, he's still there. So, I don't need to do much though. I do need to have a way. I will use this cave. The player has to come through here, up here, and this is where the player goes to the next stage. I think maybe a teleporter. So we can teleport to like a wizard's tower to find some magic spell or book to save the kingdom. So that's what's going to be here. So we're going to have an animated rock slide. We're going to have a teleporter. That's that's some pretty cool features. So I will just take my level mode, reduce the size of the receptacle, and just level that out slightly. So I want this teleporter to be here. I'll smooth what I've just unsmoothed. And I'll find a placeholder that I want to use as a teleport portal. So let's see what I've got. I will use, just for now, uh, scenery. I've seen something. I want to use it. Round window simple. If I put that on its base, that could arguably be a mystic teleporter or a stained glass window. <laughs> so I'll just level that down and smooth it off. So I am, of course, going to go back in and make this a lot better, but that's the basic gist of this scene. Enter here, encounter adversity, reach the teleporter, go into the next bit. So I'm going to save this as um, game underscore forest. I'm going to rename the first screen as game underscore castle, and the next map is going to be called game underscore tower. Um, as soon as this loads back in, I will stop the video here, and the next video we're going to build the Wizard's Tower.